Oh boy. If it was me on that plane, I'd take it straight to the train. How's it going, speeders? It's me, Demetrius Villa from the High Speed Rail America Club, and I know this is what we're all talking about right now. It's just more proof of why we need high speed rail in the United States. It's because of crap like this. This is this just exemplifies the service that you get on the airlines. This is this is it. So imagine this. You're a guy who paid for your ticket. You're gonna go over there and you're a doctor. You're gonna go home, you're gonna go save some lives. But guess what? The airline, they gotta, you know, it's not customers first. The customer doesn't come first on the airlines. No, 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 no. We gotta pr transport some crew members also too as well. Not they gotta come first. So you know what? I know you paid for your ticket, so guess what? Who's gonna volunteer to get out? Oh, nobody. Well, I guess we'll, we'll drag this random guy out. He picked the short straw, I guess, right? And we'll just drag him out. So this has become a complete hysterical moment and I mean it's it's bad for this guy I know this is this is really bad for this guy and to get hurt and punched in the face and bleeding that's you know I, I know how it feels that's 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 an awful feeling when all you want to do is just get home so it's it's pretty bad with what happened here so I mean hopefully he's okay and hopefully he gets something out of this because this is this is bad and unfortunately the laws uh, that airlines you know can legally do this but here's the legality of it. Did they overstep their boundaries when they started dragging the guy out of there and, you know, attacking him? That's that's going to be the main thing. So, this is something that really doesn't happen on 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 trains. Because if what happens, oh, you missed this one, well, you're going to go to the next one. Probably there's going to be more than enough space on the train for you to get on. It's not like an airplane where you're going to have weight limits on there. So, if you have one extra person than they're supposed to be, well, that's not going to be good for for the plane at all. For a train... Put, put as many as you can. I mean, there's enough traction to get get it moving. So, we're also having a little caption contest also too as well. Pop the picture over here. If you're in our group, please participate in it. We'll see if we can get you guys a little something also too as well. Whoever wins the caption contest. So, be sure to message back. If I do say you win, please message back and I will get you, I don't know, some a, a poster or something like that for... Uh, for build it so that's a good little thing that you can do all you have to do is just five seconds put a witty little ca caption right there that we're doing over there so here we're putting the video over and over again so you can see this again this is another reason why we need train service high speed rail here in the united states we need to bring service oriented customer first back here in america because the airlines they have no competition and you can see how they can overstep the boundaries they can do whatever the hell they want and that's not what we're, we're about here in our last video, again, do see our last video about who it is really against stopping high-speed rail here in America. America, It is the airlines, folks, that is doing this. It is the airlines that are colluding against what's going on over here. We have the proof. We have evidence. We put it out here in an exclusive ex ex uh, investigation. So, again, you can go ahead and see it. I'm putting the link over here as well so you can be able to see the video. Share it around with your friends. Share it with your co-workers. Share it with everybody you know because this is important information that we do need to get out there. If you don't know any newspapers or any blogs, please also share with the blogs because it's important that we get it out there. We need to bring another form of competition here to the United States, a country that is built on free market principles, of bringing in more competition to compete, and again, moving all of us forward into the future with something that has already been used, you know, for already more than 50 years and it's been evolving now. Before these trains were going, the, these high-speed trains and bullet trains they've been having in Japan, they went 125 miles an hour. Now they're going 250 and we're having magnetic trains that are going 300, 400 miles an hour. And we're still chugging along at 70 miles an hour. It's, it's a joke. It is an absolute joke and we need to start moving forward. So, if you're not subscribed to the High Speed Rail America Club, subscribe so you can be able to get more information on the future and see more videos on High Speed Rail news and information. I'm going to keep trying to put out more information and videos out there. It's been a little tough with my work schedule now, but, you know, now I'm easing into it. We're getting a little bit better with there, and now that we're getting more information and stuff to talk about, it's going to be easier. So, again, subscribe and also support us on patreon that's probably the most important thing you can do to keep this moving going forward so we can be able to get the videos out there we have more support we can do more stuff and i don't have to go over here and rush and put it on my webcam to do something else so again let us know in the comments below what you think about this whole incident on united airlines which i think is this is basically the epitome of what how the airlines treat people this is what it is so we need something else to get out there all right folks see you next time